In this video, we'll be looking at how to manage your privacy and security settings using Microsoft Edge. Now, the first thing we want to do is we're going to click on, in the top right-hand section, the ellipsis um, icon, that's the three horizontal dots. Once we click on that, then we can see all the many options we have here. I'm going to scroll right down to Settings. And then we're going to go over to the left hand side and we're going to click on cookies and site permissions. Well, before we do that, let's go to privacy search and services. And here we can see information regarding uh, tracking using cookies, etc. And um, one of the things that you want to, to note is that there is usually a trade-off sometimes between, um, you know, allowing cookies versus not allowing cookies. There may be some aspects of some websites that may not work that well or, or ex as expected, depending on which one of these options you choose, right? For the basic options, this will allow most trackers, um, you know, to be able to track your activity online. What these companies do is they use um, clickstream analysis and cookies to be able to store information about your preferences, um, you know, what you clicked on and be, be able to make uh, different recommendations in terms of ads and so on to you. So, um, the balanced approach is what is recommended and uh, that's the one I'm using as well. So you can make an informed decision as to you know, what uh, options or settings you want to, to choose based on your preferences. All right. Um, in another video, I'll share with you about browsing in private, but for my setting, I'll, I'll leave this on. So it says always use strict tracking prevention when browsing in private. So we'll look at that in my next video. Another option you do have as well is to clear your browsing data on demand as well as whether you want your browser to clear uh, the data once it has browsing data once it has been closed. So for the first option, choose what to clear. You can see here, it gives you the option in terms of what you want to clear information based on your um, last hour or 24 hours, different periods of time. And um, you know, by default, mine is on all time. You can clear all of these information, including passwords, um, different you know forms or information that you would have filled out on various sites that you sign up for different services you can clear all of that right by just clicking on clear now okay so we also have the option if we want to to choose to clear um, all of these different information every time the browser closes right so it will be cleared automatically so your browsing history your downloads your cookies um, you have the option to, ch to choose to clear all of these and once again you can make an informed decision depending on how you use your browser and the, uh, i guess the level of security you and confidence you have in um, your computer settings and the different services that you're utilizing so you can make an informed decision to do that but as for me i choose to clear all of these um, information including passwords autofill site permissions um, once my browser is closed all right so you can take a strict um, approach to that it depends uh, there's always a trade-off with you know convenience as well as security all right and you have additional information here like uh, this one 
allowing size to check if you have payment methods. Um, I, I don't do that, uh, but once again, depending on your um, privacy and security uh, posture, so to speak, then you can decide to, to do that or not. All right. And of course, there are some security settings here. I'm not going to go through all of these. Some of these are a little bit more advanced, like managing security uh, certificates. We'll probably look at that in another video. Um, but some of these you can see, for example, block potentially unwanted apps. You definitely want to be able to do that. Um, and of course, the uh, Defender Smart Screen that uh, protects you from malicious sites and downloads. Right? You can definitely enable that one. Um, and this one, the typo squatter or squatting checker. So that if you misspell an address, and this is something that malicious, um, you know, uh, websites use a lot. For example, if you're going to PayPal, for example, and maybe you would have misspelled PayPal in some way, and maybe type PayPal one, then you may be uh, led to a malicious website or phishing website. So you have to be careful of that. Um, and yes, you can see the others make sense as well. For optimal security, you want to use secure website as much as as possible. All right, and then you have here um, the security enhancement option. I have that as well checked, and I'm taking a balanced approach to security on my browser in Edge using this balanced um, option here but uh, once again you can decide to go with the basic some uh, using this balanced approach there may be some sites or some aspects of some sites that may not work that well and you can always reset your settings by the way there is this option here on the left uh, that says reset settings you can click on this option and um, you can choose to restore your settings to the default if you do encounter any challenges. All right, so please remember that. I'm not going to do that in this instance. I'm going to click on cancel. But you have that option just in case you would have made an error um, in or something is not working as it should after you have changed your settings. So please be aware of that. So we can also look at cookies and site permissions. And um, we have different options here as it relates to managing your, your cookies. And cookies are small um, pieces of information that is stored on your computer that allows, um, allows companies to be able to save different information on you like your preferences your habits what you you know you click on what you like what you dislike if you go to for example an e-commerce website all right so you have the option to manage information here so i've chosen to block third-party cookies um well you can do that too and um you can allow certain sites to save and read cookies, which is the recommended because for some sites, the features may not, I mean, these are, these are legitimate sites. For some legitimate sites, some of the features may not work um, as expected because they automatically store uh, necessary cookies, right? To make the site work as though it should. So you can choose once again based on your preference and your uh, browsing habits but um, you also have options for exceptions so if you choose a very strict approach then you can decide to add um, here exceptions where you have allow right you can add exceptions so you just copy the site here and you'll add them using this add option here um, and yes, if there are sites that you want to block as well, maybe some that you just don't want them to store information on you, uh, you can go ahead and in this option for block, uh, you can add those sites there. All right, so you also have um, 
others that you want to clear on exit, you can choose to add them here as well. So you have a number of options you can choose from in terms of how to manage uh, cookies and different sites that want to store data about you. All right, you also have various other permissions here as we look, for example, location, um, camera, uh, many sites like your um, conferencing, meeting tools, websites will utilize those things like cameras, microphone, etc. So you can allow them to ask first. That makes very good sense. Um, if you want them to ask permission, don't just you know enable your camera like that. So um, yeah, you can also see the option for pop-ups here. And this is blocked by default, but there may be some legitimate sites, once again, um, that you may need to add here using the allow option, right? And you will be able to get, you know, those sites will be able to work as they should. Um, so there are some legitimate sites that actually use uh, pop-ups. So while it is not recommended to allow pop-ups, you also want to make the exception for the legitimate sites, websites. All right. And there are other options that you can look at and um, you can scroll through and see. But for the most part, what we have looked at so far are the basic um, settings you'd want to be aware of as it relates to your privacy and security when browsing using Microsoft Edge. All right. So I hope this video would have helped you in some way. And if it does, once again, please remember to share and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I'll see you in my next video.